Okay. This is Richard, and this is Mindless in Uru. Artemis is hanging out on his relto while Richard is taking on the single-player cleft beginning challenge thing. Yeah, I'm just going to buzz through this so we can continue with the game. Do the more fun parts, etc. So. Alright, here we are. Pillar which appeared in Relto. We've got the cleft. This is where you would oh, start crap. if you were doing single player. I just fell off of a cliff. Really now? Yes. Good job, dude. Did you just call me David? No, dude. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Why are so many people... Uh, why are so many people that are awesome named David? I'm just noticing this. I don't know. It seems like there's okay. a lot of people named David that are awesome. Alright, so in this game... That's why I should have been named David. In this game, Uru, you're looking for these cloths. Um, called journey cloths. Which... When you touch them... I just them, call them tapestries because I'm boring like that. When you touch them, they do that. They light up. And that's, that hand symbol there... Um, lights up more and more the way. See, that's there how are I just... seven actual parts of it. Each time you touch a tapestry a little bit more, the hand symbol lights up. So you just got the thumb there. Anyway, so you're looking for these in each of the ages, pretty much. Um, all said and told, when you co when you collect all seven of the tapestries, so to speak, then a secret vault door will be unlocked. You have to find the vault as well. Yeah, more or less. So, this is basically where you'd start off in, if you were playing basic single player. We're on multiplayer, so it's a little different. Um, it's the exact same gaming experience, however... You can't. Other people can't show up to play. That's the one difference. Yeah, some some things are subtly different. You start off in Relto, for example. Well, that, yeah. That, that's the that. Game, that's that age I was. The age is exactly the same. That's that um, place I was at at the very beginning. Um, it's your home age type of thing where everything is. And if yeah. you fall off of a cliff, etc., you automatically link to that area. Okay. So this is Zondi. Junkiest person you'll ever meet in any game you happen to play. Hey. Well. So, uh. I'm Zandy. I probably know more He's about Zandy. why you're here than you do. Sounds Don't like Randy, only less awesome. Just not be honest. I, I'm not really here to give you answers, just to give you help. Get you started. She's left a message for Cleft. Listen to it well. Follow her. Find the journeys. And then enter the tree. He thinks he's being deep, I think. Check with me if he is. He's not. Alright. So he's camped out here with his trailer, waiting for these people who are showing up here for no particular reason. Oh, did and you notice, Richard? This is the cleft. Did you notice, Richard? There's product placement on, Zan on Zondi's van. Really? Where? Yes, there's a Doritos package. Wow. Alright, so this right here is the cleft. And this is where, um, if you people know the mist mythology, this is where Atris grew up, um, and where Tiana lived for a good long time. As well as Gen for quite a while. That bridge breaks. It's supposed to happen. Why All did right. you go and break it? You silly, silly person. Alright, so, if my frame rate ever catches up to us, um... Yeah, my uh, your frame rate is terrible. Okay. So, basically, these fallen, these fallen things provide uh, an excellent ladder here. 
if I can actually get past this one column here, I'll show you that you can walk off this cliff and make it around to a place you wouldn't be able to get to otherwise. I'm running... Eh, darn it. Okay, so, um... Try this again. Um, climb up ladder. And... Oh, I may as well get this while I'm here. Another journey. In a sec, um, this will become. Have you ever actually cooler. played this before? Yeah, I've played this plenty of times. I just keep forgetting things. You're the one who hasn't played this game before. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. I I know how to what navigate and what different ages are called. Although I don't know what the ages are, I can't. What in the heck? Why what? can't I do that? Do what? That's annoying. Hang on, I need to climb up this stupid ladder again. Uh. I keep falling down in the same place. Fail. So anyway, um... These carvings that you see were actually, um, Tiana drawing on the walls. That's Atris's grandmother. Um... She always loved to carve this stuff oh everywhere. God. What did I do? Alright, I made it this time. Okay, we got this. Climb up this oh one. Oh god, I think I just activated a bomb, Richard. Why would you do that? Uh, I'm afraid. I can hear it chig a -ling, -a ling Run away. Ooh. Ah. Okay, I'm done. Okay. This here is a lever which controls the clamps to the windmill, which powers the cleft. All major systems, including the doors and certain other things, are run by this one windmill. And... I can't go out that door. And so we need to get the windmill going before anything will work. So... I'm gonna climb down this ladder. And... Up this one. The windmill is stuck at this point, and so you need to give it a quick head kick start. I'm heading up to the top again. Okay, who broke it? I'm thinking Zondi might have accidentally sat on it. No, that would have caused a crater. Alright, so this over here is the windmill, and it's got this handy little rod on it for you to kickstart it. Like so. So, at this point, main power should be on, so I can go back down into the cleft and all sorts of new worlds and possibilities will be open. Perhaps not worlds literally yet, but you know what I mean. Regardless. It's rather impressive here, the rock strata that they simulate with the textures in this section. Wait, simulate? This isn't real life? Oh my god, I'm crushed! I'm very surprised. I'll just go ahead and continue running against walls. Um, Don't you love it when you do that? It can kill you, you know. If you're in Gary's mod. Okay, there we go. Frame rate's a little bit better. Alright, so... Uh, why would you have to go and have a frame rate? Alright, let's try and do this once again. I'm gonna do this a couple times one little path here. Ah, are you kidding? That's really <sighs> annoying. I keep falling off in the same spot. <laughs> Dude, maybe I should have done it. I'm like amazing at FPSs. Except I haven't played any FPSs. Just be quiet. Stop talking and <laughs> let me navigate. I'm the one who's actually... Ah! Ah! 
I just lagged like nothing, and my character oh, ended up halfway so across a bridge. Which this is this is ticking me off. This is ticking me off, and I. Oh my god, are you kidding? Are you kidding? We have been doing all that and we could just jump up there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Artemis, I'm... It's really too bad that you're not watching this because I just discovered something. You can send me the game is, footage at some point. I, I probably will, I'll, and you will be amazed that I just discovered that. And besides, I'm gonna be Regardless. the person editing it, so... Okay, whatever. Anyway, okay, back to you guys. Um, this here is a viewer that either Atris or Yisha set up. I'm not sure which, but um, Yisha Atris. Yisha is the daughter of Atris. Tiana or Anna is the grandmother of Atris. Gen is the father of Atris. Uh, you get an idea for the lineage. Um, and Yisha is really the one who this game centers around. And so right here, you. right here, you've got a series of glyphs, each of which you can change, um, and it's unclear what the actual combination is until you head over to this side of the room, where you've got a board leaning against the door, leaning against the wall, and this right here, which looks oddly familiar. Recognizing these Thank glyphs. you, Richard, for pointing out the obvious. The blatantly obvious, but you know. Um, so. I thought that was my job. Yeah, perhaps later it will be, but at this point it's mine. Um, Whatever. Anyway. It's the cameraman's job. So that's that's what those symbols are, and so you, you plug those in, and you get a nice message from Yisha. 